Hello, you all techies out there. Would like to welcome you all on my YouTube channel, White High Security. Here on this channel, we focus on real technical configuration related to cloud, cloud security, network security, and, and many more technical topics. So yeah, without further delay, let's get started with our topics for today. And yeah, I would like to thank you in advance for watching. Hello everyone. On our agenda today, we are going through the collect pillar of Microsoft Sentinel. So as we know, there are four different pillars for Microsoft Sentinel, which are collect, detect, investigate, and respond. So we are uh, starting from collect phase. That's the first first phase you should cover because first of all, before doing anything, we have to collect all those logs from different sources. So yeah, today we are going to connect Active Directory, uh, Identity Protection, Azure Activity, uh, Defender for Cloud, Storage Account, and Network Security Group to the Sentinel. So yeah, let's get started with the first one. So as you can see, this is my uh, Microsoft Sentinel portal within portal.azure.com. To connect all those data connectors, we have this particular option that we already discussed for data connectors. So here we are going to collect, uh, connect the first one, which is Azure Active Directory. So here I can see that there is a pre-built data connector for Azure Active Directory. Let's go ahead and, and connect this one. So to connect this one, uh, I have to click on this one and then I need to go to the open connector page. So here it will take you, the, uh, take you to the data connector page where you can connect Active Directory to your Sentinel. So here you can see it will verify your permissions. You need workspace read and write permission. You need diagnostic read and write permission. You need tenant permission, global administrator or security administrator. So I have all these three things. You can see the green checks on against all of them. So yeah, simply now I have to select what are the logs I want to see uh, within Sentinel. So I will go ahead and select all of these. Uh, according to your convenience, you can select what exactly you want to see in your Active Directory data connector in Microsoft Sentinel. You can choose two of them, three of them, or all of them. For now, I am uh, choosing all of them. I need to hit Apply Changes now, and it should be up in a moment. As you can see, successfully applied changes. So now these are the simple steps to connect Azure Active Directory. It's, it's kind of a it now. Let's move on to the next one, which is Active Directory Identity Protection. So similarly, I will go to the connector page. I will click on open connector page and it will take me to the connector page where I can connect my Active Directory Identity Protection. So simply here as well, you just need to uh, hit connect and it will automatically connect to the Active Directory Identity Protection. You will see this particular message successful connect Active Directory Identity Protection. We should enable this as well. I will tell you about the incident later, but yeah, based on the logs, we need to enable this one if we want to see incident as well on based on these particular logs, which will be flowing in Azure Active Directory Identity Protection. So I have enabled that as well. As you can see, it is enabled now. So yeah, that's kind of it for this one as well. Let's move on to the next one, which is Azure Activity. So similarly, for Activity as well, we are going to hit Open Connector page and it will give us the same option which we see just now. So yeah, let's connect Azure Activity now. To connect Azure Activity, there is a different process. So here you need to use a Azure Policy Assignment Wizard to connect your Azure Activity to Microsoft Sentinel or you can say to the Log Analytic Workspace. So simply we will click on Launch Azure Policy. Let's see what option it gives us. So here you can select your scope. So you need to select your subscription. You can definitely you know, uh, select the resource group for which you want to do it. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm deploying it uh, like for the subscription. So I will select my subscription only. This is uh, optional that you want to select the resource group or uh, particular resource group to which you want to see the Azure activity logs. Exclusion is self-explanatory. If you want to exclude anything from this particular policy, if you don't want to see any particular resource group logs or something like that, you can edit from here. But I'm not going to do that now because I want everything related to my subscription and in Azure activity. And I want to see that in Log Analytics Workspace or you can see, uh, you can say the, the Sentinel Workspace. 
so yeah this is the assignment name you can just put the same in the description or if you want to give another description you can definitely give and here you can see this is my username this is policy this policy is assigned by me i will hit next here i need to select the log analytic workspace i need to select the sentinel log analytic workspace because i want to see azure activity into my sentinel space and i want to you know later in investigate into those so i need to select my log analytic workspace here for sentinel next this is remediation so i need to create a remediation task so uh, like if you guys have worked on azure policies this is basically you know say if something is not there deploy that so remediation task is that that if log analytic workspace settings are not available just deploy do, deploy those and you can put a uh, um, a message that you know if if any resource is not compliant which we see just in the next step so i will create a remediation task to deploy these setting across my across my subscription and i will hit uh, next here you can see the non compliance message so basically if 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 some services or resource group or something like that don't have this particular settings enable like they are not uh, sending logs to sentinel or you can say log analytic workspace this message should be or uh, displayed on those resources so you can say you can put anything whatever you want to uh, uh, like uh, see here so i will say this resource don't have diagnostic settings enabled so this will this will be the message which i will get if any of my resources is not forwarding activity logs to microsoft sentinel i will hit next and i will hit create so it will uh, uh, surely uh, shortly deploy the policy uh, assignment and our activity log should be connected to microsoft sentinel so you can see creating policy assignment succeeded role assignment creation is progress so yeah this will going to take little bit of time so yeah, as you can see the remediation task is completed now policy assignment is also succeeded so yeah we are good that uh, we are good with that one as well so yeah that's it for this video i hope this has been informative to you and i would like to see you on the next one yeah.